everybody. We are here uh, in Adventure Stelling Road. Here in Adventure Esequibo where John grew up and where our house, where we built a house. But I haven't been here in 15 years. So we're here just to do some trimming of trees and also to, to spray for the weeds. The whole place break up and, and people stole everything. The glass door, windows, just everything and destroyed the property. Unfortunately, I didn't really have anybody here, and my life was different, you know, trying to survive. And so, in the States, after 15 years, so I'm back, and we're here working a little bit. Let me show you. So, check it out. This is Stelling Road, where we are, and this is the house. One of the zinc is lifting up, so this guy is here helping me putting it down. And um, that's the Stelling, Adventure Stelling, that used to run everything before the new Stelling. So, this is where we are. And everything, you know, everything, people just stole everything. You know how it is when you leave your house too. Uh, so this is it. This is the house we built from scratch, John's dad and myself. And um, John is seeing it for the first time. And uh, we're just like trying to weed up a little bit and do some spring. So let me show you. The gentleman up there is so nice to do this for us. Um, and the whole house is pretty much um, broken. I will be starting to fix it up as of October, but right now we're just chopping down some of these bush here. Hello! The girls are hanging out. We're taking turns chopping. And um, Tommy, and even our guys who is taking us around can is helping us out. Hey Tommy, how are you liking Guyana work? Show them your machete. Cutlass, the cutlass. So it's a beautiful property we built here. 5,000 square foot right here on Esquivel. It's going to be gorgeous again when we get it all fixed up. We'll be starting like making the fence, putting up the fence again, and things like that. But oh my god, it's so sad. It's kind of sad to see, you know, when you leave a property, what can happen. And, um, but you know, it's not the end of the world. We are here, we have our strength and help. We'll work and come up with the money so that we can fix it up again. And it is going to be beautiful again. And it will bring us great memories again. So that's how we're going to look at it. It's right here on the end, edge of the ocean and the Esequibo River. And uh, we have a front veranda, back veranda that we look at the stars. But well, let me show you around. Oh, <laughs> you find a monkey apple? Let me see. It's a monkey apple? Yeah, that's a monkey apple. Yeah, let me see around. Brother Jack is going to go spray and help us out. Everybody here is just helping us out. No, 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 no. Cut them, cut them. Right, give me the line. Good boy. Tommy, you're working hard there, bye. Yeah, bye. And Ken, thank you so much. You don't have to do this. He's so nice. <laughs> Try to go slow, Tom. Tommy, come on. Stop it! Stop it! This movie is spending a lot. You'll be a guy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's a beautiful property. We had so much memories. John grew up here till he was and we moved from here when John was six. So it's been almost fifteen years since John came here. Or fourteen years. I have golden apple right now and I have mangoes. And that the building there used to be our generator building. But this is our home, it's gonna be beautiful again. It makes me sad to see this, but I know we have the strength and the health to clean it up and um, and it will be amazing again. Uh, we even build these gates, John. We build these gates, the other one is in there somewhere. So we'll clean it up. These are all sugar cane that just took over on this side.
Let's go. And I haven't seen this house in 15 years. From the time I actually, uh, when we le left here, I've never seen it for over 15 years. Oh. Okay, I can't go in. Oh. I think it's locked from the outside. Let's go in the back. Um, we used to have eight tanks here, so this is a big trussle, but everyone stole the tanks. And um, big bathroom and toilet and wash area and everything here, but everybody then stole all the toilet seats and just broke everything, you know. So this is our downstairs, and uh, people stole all the kitchen pieces and everything. And... Uh, so we got a lot of cleaning. We're not going to be able to do all the cleaning. We just want to take care of the, um, we just want to take care right now of the bushes. And then the next time we come, we'll come for a longer time and start to do repairs. We'll start with the fence first. And then we're going to start with the house. So the downstairs is very big. And uh, this is our upstairs. One time John actually fell from the stairs when he was a little guy. So much memories here. I mean, they pull out all the wiring and everything, you know? So, they just stripped the house. The only reason they haven't took the, the grills, because these grills, when my husband built it, John's dad, it's through the wall, right through. So it's very difficult to take out. But some of the windows and all that stuff, they still, so let's go up here. So it's gonna be beautiful when we finish it. You know, huge, very huge place, property. We used to um, house over 15 Americans comfortably here because we were involved in mission work and also wildlife. So we, this house was built big enough to accommodate 15 Americans comfortably with air condition and everything. So they stored all the Now we had a glass door out here that I also stole. We had bees and so living in here, so that's why all these and so we had to take out to take out the bees. So lots of work. How is it there, Tom? Tommy? Thank you. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> Anybody's in the area and they have a cut last. Come on over. <laughs> yeah. So it's cleaning up and the ocean is right out there and the edge of the river it's beautiful oh the breeze feels fantastic right now ah wow so much memories i don't know what, what I, I i'm like i want to cry and and a little disappointed you know so much emotion going This used to be our upstairs. And in here used to be John's. This in here used to be John's room. When John was little guy, we actually make all this here, all these fish. This used to be my son Johnny's room. This here used to be our room. It's huge, huge room. Our office is on that corner. This is, this is the office, and this used to be our bedroom where we can see the water also down here, and the ocean, a nice breeze. So, a lot of work, but it will be beautiful when it's finished. Uh, people start to rip out the zinc. People are the zinc. They are taking out. And be careful of it. Be careful because it's very like um, scary. 
and over there is bathroom and shower and all that good stuff upstairs bathroom and shower and downstairs but the best part of this house when we designed it was this this is the back veranda but we made it in a way with no roof so that we can sit here and we used to look at the stars so we make this area just to sit without the roof for the stars hello <laughs> So this used to be our back here. Look at those mangoes over there. <sighs> your mom, your, your dad and so used to be with us here. When they were little, we would be here laying down on mattress looking at the stars. When they would sleep, sleep over. I love it. There's so much memories, so much memories. Gorgeous. Wow, these guys are working like machines. So the first thing like hey Tom. The first thing I said like we'll be doing is putting up the fence. The next time we are here. Get this long one there. Careful Tommy. Nice breeze, huh? So much memories, John. Diapers here. Playing here. This is where John learned to walk by holding onto this, you know, veranda here walking. So much memories. Great, great memories. Going back downstairs. We used to have um, big, big, we used to be involved in wildlife. So we used to have big, big cages and so up here with very rare snakes and all that stuff. The kids in the kids in this area, the schools in this area used to come to this house as a field trip because we used to have so many animals and so many different things. And my husband, John's dad was so intelligent and he used to teach the kids and everything. And we used to be wildlife exporters. So we, this, this house and this yard used to be like a zoo, better than a zoo actually. <sighs> Nice. Oh. I'm so looking forward. I'm looking forward to fixing this place up and start to make amazing memories. Hello, how are you? Good afternoon. Oh, that's the ladder you brought. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it's a very big property also. It's two um, property in one. So, um, this here over here used to have big, big cages with animals and everything. And this here was built like a tank. This used to be our storage and also our generator room. So that's still there, still in good shape. You know, we take out all the wood and replace it. It's gonna be. What's going on? Brother Jack, who is that? Matt. Oh, okay. So these are our sugar cane. We'll chop down and then we'll give it a spray. Oh. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. So I'm going to give Tommy a break and I'll start chop. Tommy, let me help chop. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna start work, you know, contracts and stuff. 
when we come October time, okay? Um, like, you know, day work kind of thing. And I will fix up the fence and then we'll start work on the house. Oh, okay then. Get his number so we can call you to give us a number. Okay, okay. But get our number still. Give her your number, yeah. So he's a contractor, he's building a house over there. Because we'll need a little estimate and so, you know what I mean? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, getting blisters already, Tommy. I got blisters already. Oh, look. No glove. Yeah, Tommy's getting blisters. Don't Some, go. Some guy kissed my boo boo. Oh. <laughs> That's all right. It's, it's work of love. Yeah. That's enough. Let, let him spray this little cupboard. Huh? Let him spray the little stuff in there. Uh, Jack is spring, all the low stuff. It's gonna full of love. So many people will be coming and staying here and have stories to tell. So one step at a time, one foot in front of the other and it's gonna get fixed and it's gonna look amazing. And we all gonna make so many memories and stories again. Love you, stay amazing. I just wanna show you a quick show of what we're doing here right now. Um, cleaning up, just weeding a little bit and spraying the yard. Stay amazing and have a fantastic day.